This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to AWS Data Engineer Training Program. So, before we start with today's class, we'll be fixing that Git issue. So, I hope you can see my screen and I am into my Cloud9 environment. So, what I will do is, I will first of all check which directory I am currently in and we'll go to our git repo directory and git status okay so this is the status git push is still pending because uh, we have committed one file but we haven't pushed it you can see here your branch is ahead of origin main by one commit that means your local branch that is having one commit which is not yet pushed to your server okay let me open github also this one test repo june 23 okay so now when i was trying to do git push it was failing Yes, so you can notice this one. Support for password authentication was removed on this date. I gone through this document already, but I wanted to do it along with you so that you can understand like how to fix this. And this would be one time fix. So, okay. Okay, so there's a concept of uh, personal access token and that will help you to do it. So let me go back. I will show you. Yes, <clears throat> this one. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. So basically, this is one time authentication process. We need to generate one SSH key on our uh, local system. That means cloud nine. And from there, that SSH key, we will be uploading into our GitHub repository. So that's like a one time handshake between 
your local system and your uh, github repository once you do it after that you never need to do it again and you can do pulling the code pushing the code at any point of time without any issue okay so let me copy this one this so ssh key gen that means generation of a key ssh key generation t for technique which technique is used for uh, this one key generation that is rsa that's very common uh, encryption technique and then this b stand for byte like how many bytes you want to use for that so 4096 bytes will be used for your key generation and then c c for client like you can provide your email address basically for your email id uh, you it will be creating a unique uh, unique key and that will be stored into the github repo so let's copy this one and we'll do it i'm going back to cloud9 let me clear my screen okay and we'll be pushing pulling pasting this and i will change this email id press enter two times you have to press enter uh, like two three times and it will be generating some key now you may be thinking where is my key located so that key is located at this location you can see here slash home slash ec2 user then dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub this one is your key file and that content we have to upload into github repository so i'm coming back here so this part is done and you have to execute this command all these are one time activity so you can see this one control c and coming back here okay that is done the next one is we have to ssh add then the complete path of your file so add your ssh private key to the ssh agent if you created your key with a different name or if you are adding an existing key that has different name replace this one in the command with the name of your private key file so in our case we didn't use this ed1 right we use the ssh one ssh we used this one we use right sorry R rsa technique we used instead of the ed1 so let me go back we'll check it out like where are our files located so let me change the path cd and then we'll go to this path so this you can you can see this id underscore pub that is your uh, public file and id underscore rsa that is the private file so we have to provide the path of that file so coming back to the here and the command is ssh add this one so i will copy this control c id underscore rsa that is my private key so i am adding the private key and you can see that identity added okay so i know these commands may be quite new for you but on a high level this command is mainly for ssh key gens that means ssh key generation using some technique and after that we'll be starting a ssh agent this is for starting the ssh agent on your local system this command whatever we used recent is the adding your key to the agent